don't know if you remember, but a uh, couple videos ago I was talking about how I had a leak behind this mat. And you can see the water right there. That's I'm squeezing out of the pad that's back there. And somehow I gotta dry that out. I think I'm gonna have to prop it up and get a fan going. But anyway, what was happening was in here, <clears throat> in the windshield washer uh, or windshield wiper gully, the two, well, three weep holes or drain holes, there's one there. You can see I took this rod, this coat hanger, pushed it right through and pushed the blockage out of that one. Kind of caused a little bit of damage to my screen here, but you know, uh, we can just fix that like that. There we go. And damage gone. And on this side, there's a tube right here. This tube that I cleaned out and it was filled with gunk. And what was happening was the water was um, pooling up in here and somehow getting behind on the inside of the firewall going down it and coming out from underneath that mat. And it was doing it on both sides. And right now I'm still running a test to make sure. But you can see here this, this weep hole right here. It's on this far side down here. It was actually sealed over. The person before had, had sealed it over, probably trying to stop it and couldn't figure out that it was actually coming from within here. So I cleaned it out using this coat hanger and I just straightened it out and punched it right through the weep hole over here, in here, and cleaned it out and now it's evacuating the water as quickly as it goes in. You can see it coming out right there. I don't know if you can get a shot of that. Yeah, there you go. But right now I'm just running a test to make sure that that in fact was everything about it. Alright, for the crawl weep holes, there is not only this one right here, but there is one beneath this plate, way over here in this back corner, uh, that you can uh, run a, um, a coat hanger down through and clean it out. And that solved all of that. Now, the next thing is when water comes down the outside of the firewall, it's now getting in through there, through those gaps on uh, the heater core hose connections. And I'll have to solve that next. So, yesterday I was talking about the weep holes that are in the cowl up here. And I found one that was here, two on that side, and I thought that was it. But then I found that there's another one a fourth one beneath this plate over about here and I'm gonna have a video of getting back into that and showing you where that is but when I cleaned that out I was still getting a leak because water was coming out of here and going right through the worn out seal around the heater core if you look at that right there, it is absolutely chewed up and water is getting into there and dripping down behind this back plate, right, or a piece of plastic with fiber on the back. I forget what it is. But anyway, I have it propped up to dry, get some air underneath there and dry it out. So... I solved the one problem with it not draining from this side of the cowl beneath this plate only to find out that my leak was coming from there. 
So I need to figure out how to seal that without taking the heater core out and going through a heater core seal replacement. I don't know if you could see that. But it is right there. And uh, it's kind of, how would we say? Uh, you see how it's all chewed up? Right there. And how there's a big old gap on the top one. And that's where the water's getting in behind the firewall on my system. So, lovely. All right, so we're gonna go in here and I'm gonna show you where that other weep hole is that's way over here that you can't seem to find unless you take off the wheel well backing, the side panel, and, and get on through there. So first thing is we need to move the wiper. It's pretty easy, you just lift up on the wiper. There's a little detent down here. You pull that out go. That's the latching clip. When it's out, the windshield wiper will be held up. And now, as gently as you can, wiggle it off like so. And there's a little the wiper hose. Just unplug that from right here. From the nozzle right there. you back situated there we go <laughs> don't want you to fall <laughs> so I guess uh, put that aside there's this notch in the arm so it only goes on one way <clears throat> so you don't have to worry about it going on wrong The next thing is, well, someone put caulking, thinking that this was the problem that they were having, where the, where the leak was coming from. Someone put a bunch of caulking there the other day. I took my razor blade and I got it underneath it and I removed it from this plate so that we can get that plate off. So, all right. a uh, Torx nut. It is the T15 Torx nut. And it is used on this. Now, there's your windshield washer line right here and it goes through the cowl and there's a little nut on the inside that holds it in place and it's, it's like pressed on, it doesn't turn on. So I use the, like this, got in behind it and just wiggled it back and forth until it came out. And then to make sure I didn't lose it, I just put it right back, right back on it like that. And that gets this out of the way of this plate right here. So now I'm gonna take 
my plastic uh, molding and just move that up to get it above this rubber and then slide it out of the way. So, and then put that right over here. So, let's see if I can get you a good shot of this. So that, that drain hole is right about here. So if you go over, like so, you can kind of start it in there, but if you put a just a little bend in the wire, in the coat hanger, and you go in like that, see I'm in it now, cleaning it out, and can't do any more. that's where that one is and the reason I know that that now works is instead of the water coming into my cab through different means around this call and backing up in here and overflowing on on the uh, on the far side you, you gotta look into it, and I can't get the camera in there. And if I had a, sc a bore scope, I'd use that to show you. Um, but uh, instead of the water going into my cabin, it now comes out down there. All the way down there. And you can see it coming out over here, and I can show you here in a second. Take it, just put it like that. You can see also some of the sealant is cracked. And we can take you. Had it flown through here yesterday. So, if you look down in there, you can see that that is where that weep hole comes out. Down there. Another thing while I was in here that I noticed, if you look, there's a crack on that seal from the factory. It kind of stops, or well, gets really small there, but it's pretty large right there. And I bet that's also letting in some water as well. So probably a good idea to check those out and see if they need to have some new sealant put on them um, while you're in here cleaning out this fourth one this fourth weep um, drain hole so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna put dry this up and then put uh, better sealant on it some more sealant So this is inside the cull, cull where I have that crack right here in the factory uh, silicone or whatever uh, sealant right there and I'm going to put some more uh, mine and fill in that crack that's happening to make sure that no more water is coming. You can, I can't get a finger in there and actually point to it so I'm using what I use to clean out the uh, the drain holes in the cull to point it out.
here's another shot of that crack you can see it right here and it goes up right up into here kind of pee, it kind of stops right here but starts right here goes all the way down and spiders off in different directions around here in the shade which you probably can't see but if you look at the tip right here what you can see in frame is from here right about here it starts and goes down let's see if we can swing you there you go that's a little bit better you can see right there right there's and there's another piece of it cracked right there so I'm gonna use uh, some RTV sealant and uh, I gave it a slight angle on the nozzle slight angle on the nozzle so that I can get a nice bead down that crack but I'm gonna let the crack dry out some more before I put this on because I want it nice and dry I want this stuff to go in that and seal it up really nice. Alright, so I don't know if you could see in there, but uh, I've put some, I've sealed up those cracks that are in there with some RTV. If you like the video, please click on that like button and if you're not a subscriber please subscribe it really does help out the channel in the YouTube algorithm and if you want to be notified of upcoming videos when they get posted to YouTube click on that notification icon and you'll be notified when we upload again thank you for watching and have a great day